Hello and welcome to episode 26 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. So the last episode was an absolutely mental one. We had injuries, we had disappointment, we had elation, we had the full range of emotion and we've sort of ended in a position that is sort of okay. I'm not massively happy with where we are. Obviously going out of the Champions League was a bitter pill to swallow but we are still only two points off Ajax now and only a point away from Feyenoord and we need that second spot at least to even have a chance of getting into the Champions League next season. We were bitterly disappointed to go out to PSG. We can't have that happen again but we need to at least be in the position to let that happen again. So so we do have to win these last four games. We've got Groningen at home, we've got Emin at home, two imminently winnable games and then Utrecht and Arda Den Haag away from home. These will be the last four games of this season. These are the crucial games. If we get four wins here, I reckon we'll probably have done enough. So with that in mind, I'm going to play two games in this episode, two games in the next. We're really going to push for that European qualification, that Champions League spot. And Eggy is still on his dramatic improvement, so everything is possible. Anything in the world is possible when Eggy is improving at this rate. So let's go and take a look at the teams for the Groningen game. Eggy up to 74 rating, and this is pretty much the perfect side except for we would rather have De Jong up front, but Martinez on an upward arrow will deal with Ramzalar and Azano. Those are the two wings we want to play with. Hendricks is in there. The old hashtag penalty idiot <laughs> is still in there. That's a shame. That is a shame. But other than that, it's pretty much as we would like. Schwab has been a little bit suspect at times. Lukasen is an absolute beast. Angelino and Dumfries, dependable. And Zoot in goal. Well, he's done well this season. It's disappointing not to see, even see De Jong on the bench, but he is on a downward arrow, so we'll accept that decision from Hermans, who's made some odd decisions, some potentially season-ruining decisions, but we'll, we'll run with it. Groningen are a good side. I remember getting beaten by them earlier this season. It's Cassiera or Cassie something up front who scored two great goals. It is Cassiera. We need to be wary of him. The rest of the team isn't that great. It should be okay, but... We've struggled in recent games. We need to retain our form. The, the form that we had mid-season was absolutely blistering. It feels like since Bentaleb has come in, we've struggled. I don't want to blame it all on him. Just because he's an ex-Tottenham player. I don't want to be laying all the blame at his door. But no coincidence. There's no smoke without fire. And he has missed now three fucking pen... Right, nope, nope. Let's not get angry about that. Let's concentrate. Deep breaths. Let's get the win. Four wins left for us to get. Let's do it. So I've not spoken much about my thoughts about Become a Legend in this series. Obviously I'm disappointed. Anyone who plays this mode will be disappointed with its development. There's been no development at all. I've been playing NBA 2K19 and the My Player mode on that is absolutely outstanding. There's actually a section in it where you get to play as a classic Houston Rockets side uh, as your My Player goes and uh, basically it's the equivalent of him going to play ISS in an arcade and he gets to play an old-fashioned game, and you get to control it, and it is absolutely exceptional. Genuinely never played a more exciting game of basketball on a computer than I did then, uh, mainly because I'm a Houston Rockets fan, and you got to play with Yao Ming, but it was very special. Eggy, middle of the pitch, finds the penalty idiot. Lovely ball over the top from the penalty idiot. Oh, -ho -ho. big Rog lurking there. Hand Verka can't get to it. Oh, great touch there from Briege. Cassiera lays it back and the shot comes in and it is wide. But Groningen looking dangerous from the off. Cassiera now. Away from Dumfries down this right-hand side. That's a good ball in. Drossed with the effort and that's just over the bar. Groningen certainly looking the brighter here in the early stages of this game. Eggy. Away from Warmerdam. And now he'll cross the halfway line. With no one near him. Only Big Rog as an option. Steps away from Zefwick. Ah, can't find the ball into Big Rog. Now Lozano into Eggy. Squares it to Big Rog. There we go. There we go. Big Eggy, Big Rog. It's a big combination. And we've not been great in these opening minutes of this game. But Eggy here looking lively. Look for the ball into uh, Roger Martinez. But eventually it fell to Lozano. He played it back. And Eggy is creating everything that you would want him to create. He is essentially now an artist. Given the ball and he will create something for you. And Big Rog and De Jong, they are good finishers. If you get the ball in the right position, they are going to score. We've got an important first goal here against Groningen, who've looked really good in the first few minutes. So we've been lucky to come away with that. Eggy nearly wins it back. How is that a foul? Oh, Big Rog picks it up. Eggy steaming through. 
has to turn there, but he puts it back into the path of Big Rog. Lovely touch. Oh, how have you missed that? Come on, that was 2-0. In the bag, no problems. My gran could have finished that. Eggy took his time, was given a bit of space to put the perfect ball in. Big Rog, big miss. And that is half time here at the Phillips Stadium, and it is Eggy's assist for Big Rog's goal. Sees us ahead here. We've had a lot of 1-0 wins in recent games. We've not been dominant at all. We're not having a great season, but we are just grinding out results. And this could well be a case of that as well. If we can just keep this up, make sure that Groningen don't get any shots on target. It doesn't matter if they have possession, as long as they're not able to properly test Zoot. Let's keep this going. Put the ball into Big Raj. Eggy gets the header on. Big Raj out to Eggy. Finds Lozano. Irving Lozano now into Big Rog. Could fall to Eggy here. Oh, he finishes it. That was fortunate. I don't think that was meant for him, but it ended up at his feet and he finished it well. That is exactly what we want to see in the progression of Eggy's career. He's become a finisher. I think that's the difference, isn't it? Early on, he was scoring goals when he was in the right positions, when he had the right opportunities. But now he is cleaning up. He's finding the scraps. He's getting the second balls. He's following in. And that is the sign of an experienced uh, forward player. Danger here. Mahi takes it to the line. Low ball into Cassiera. Oh, they've got one back. They've got one back. And it's that man, Cassiera, who hit us for two goals in the last game. And he's found a goal here today at the Phillips Stadium. We knew how dangerous he was. That was far too easy a goal to be giving away. Well, we're going to have to score another, I feel, to really seal this one. Nabil Bentaleb now picks it up. Out wide to Lozano. Bentaleb back to Lozano. Low ball in. Looking for Hendricks. This is intricately worked here. Eggy, Lovely touch. Oh, just couldn't get to that. Bentaleb. That's a lovely ball into Eggy. You can find Ramzalar now. Ramzalar and Eggy return passes again. Ramzalar into Big Rog. Oh, just couldn't find the finish. Great opportunity there. Oh, Eggy. Huge tackle. With seconds left on the clock here. Finds the ball wide to Lozano. Just too much on that for him to get to it. Oh, he's kept it in really well. Ball into Big Rog. Could fall to Eggy and it doesn't. Only three minutes left in this one. We've got to keep it tight here. We've got to win this. Cassiera, they've got men over here. This is dangerous. Ah, oh, that's great work from Dumfries. And now we may have another chance here. Big Rog lays it off into Eggy. Out to Lozano. Slips it into Eggy. No, the interplay wasn't there, but we've only got seconds left in this one. Come on, we can do this. We need the three points. Eggy now, edge of the box. He's taken out there. So, fat ref. All right, we'll take the, uh, we'll play the advantage. Because we want the time off the clock. And that is going to be full time here at the Phillips Stadium. And that is a massive win. And it's Eggy's goal that's the difference. I mean, we did allow them back into the game with that Cassiera goal. We needed all three points today. Every single three points at this point in the season is massive. I wouldn't say six pointers, obviously, because it's not against teams that we're competing with. But it is absolutely huge. And we needed that today, especially at home. We've got our last two games away from home. Iggy grabs a seven with a good assist and a goal. It's a bit harsh. Big Rog gets a 7.5. But we'll take it. We need the three points and that's what counts. So only three games left in this season. I know a lot of you will be hoping that I get the results right here. Because I had a brain fart in the last episode. I don't mind saying it, but it happened. It can happen to the best of us. I've got everything right ever before now, haven't I? No, probably not. Well, Ajax win, Feyenoord win, AZ win, PSV win. So it should be as it was. Yes, it is. Obviously, if Ajax and Feyenoord were to lose now and we won, we'd be top of the league. It's hard to believe. It's hard to expect that's going to happen. But it could do. And I feel like at least one of those two is going to slip up before the end of the season. So if we can pull off... Another three wins now, then we should be okay. Eggy, well, frankly, those are incredible stats. 16 assists and 12 goals in 29 games is incredible. And we're up to 75 overall rating now. The Hurricane. We've sort of forgotten that Eggy's nickname is The Hurricane. We need to be pulling that out more. Obviously, it was in incredibly bad taste when he was issued with that nickname. And it came in at almost exactly the same time. A tsunami of horrid, life-destroying proportions hit Indonesia. So it was bad timing, but I quite like it. The way he moves is hurricane-esque. Uh, we're close to a low pass improvement. And we're close to... Uh, oh, it looks like we've just improved our balance and our speed. <sighs> Turning into some player. We know that. 
and he makes it into the team of the month for April alongside De Jong, alongside the penalty idiot, and alongside Jimi Hendrix, who's been excellent, and Dumfries and Galloway. So there's a lot of PSB in this side. Can we turn it into points? Can we turn it into a Champions League spot? As we saw, speed, balance, both improving, and those are massive. So starting lineup today for the second and final game of this episode. We're at home to Emmon. This is a game that we should be winning. Eggy continues his dramatic improvement. Big Maxi up front, who's been in great form. Bergwin comes in for Ramsler on the wing. Still penalty idiot and Jimi Hendrix in the middle. And then a great back line. I think maybe Ismay Mirin is a better centre-back than Schwab. Uh, MN playing with two up front. That could leave us with a bit more space than usual. They're not a bad side. They're not a bad side at all, but they've got some weak spots. Let's hope we can exploit them. So I don't want to over-eggy the pudding. See what I did there. But I think we're due a really special goal. Uh, we've probably only got this game and then another two games in this dramatic improvement, which basically means a flashing blue arrow in every game. So Eggy, if he's going to score world-class goals, he's going to score them now. So let's do it. Bentaleb, lovely ball. Eggy lays it off. Now Dumfries with a good run. Into Eggy, away from his man. Low effort is blocked by the keeper. Should have finished that. Ten minutes in, and we should easily be a goal up here. So 23 minutes in, and Emin have had all the possession here. And they are looking like the better side. We're starting so slowly in games. That is our problem at the moment. We're somehow often grabbing a win after that, but we need to start... With more intensity, we're giving them too many opportunities and they're going to have a corner here. Emmon again looking at the better side, as Groningen did in the last game. 24 minutes in, they've gone for the short corner here. Clock is dispossessed, but they get it back through Ben Musa. Ball to Boss, edge of the box, lovely back heel, could fall to Peters. His effort is not a good one. And Eggy is found by Bentaleb. Maxi Romero ahead of him, it's a 2-on-2 -two -two opportunity here. Eggy, oh no. It's a good ball down the line to Eggy. Slips it around the corner. Low ball into Maxi Romero. Can he lay it off to Eggy here with the left foot? Oh, that's a great save. Maxi Romero's pass just wasn't quite crisp enough. Actually ended up being just behind Eggy. who laid it off really well there. Maxi Romero. Oh, it's a difficult position, but it's a good save in the end to deny him. We will have a corner here. Should have really finished that. 34 minutes in, we've not had many chances. Eggy plays it wide to Lozano. Maxi Romero plays it back into him. Eggy's made a good run here. Lozano has it still, puts a dangerous ball into the box. Maxi Romero almost takes it down. Oh, could fall anywhere here. It doesn't fall. So, final seconds of the half. Emin will put a ball in. Peters will jump for it. Falls out to Boss. Will they have another opportunity here? No, they won't. And that will be half-time here at the Phillips Stadium. It's nil-nil. It's been very disappointing. What is that? 40% possession. That is a disgrace. Right, let's step it up. Slagvir now for Emin. Bit of space. That's a great ball in. Peters with the header. And they take the lead here away from home. We cannot be allowing this. We just we can't. We can't do it. Come on. Let's forget about that. It's nil-nil again. Let's get two goals in a row. Let's win this one. We've been the we've not been the better side. No doubt about that. We need to improve massively. Eggy now through the centre. This is dangerous here. Can Eggy find Romero? No, that's over here. Backer will get there. Clears though only as far as Angelino. Can we keep this one alive? Eggy in a lot of space here. Just a step inside. No, he's dispossessed. That's poor. An hour gone and we don't look good here. Angelino. Lozano. That's a great ball into Eggy. Can he get the low ball into... No, Maxi Romero. That's a poor cross in the end. And we lose possession. Slipping away from this game. Oh, nice ball out there from Slagvir. Dangerous ball in. Lucasen will jump for it. It's a... Wild clearance away, and that could well be the end of Eggy's game today, and that's going to be really disappointing. Ramzalar comes on. We've not been able to influence this one at all. We've had an awful game, as has PSV as a side. Well, we've just got to see now what happens with a fair amount of time left. Hopefully we can get an equaliser. We need a win, though. There's no doubt about it. Eggy certainly not helped with that. We'll join the action if anything actually happens, but we're in dire straits at the moment. Oh, big Raj turns his man through on goal. Got to finish there. Oh, well, a grand Raj rescues a point here for PSV. That could be vital. 
in our bid for those top two spots. And that is an incredible take on the chest. Turns away from his man. Fresh on for Maxi Romero. No one's going to catch him for pace. And that is some finish. It's going to end uh, this game with a very exciting five minutes. Can we find the winner here? Might be less than five minutes. There's two minutes left. Unlikely for us to find anything now. Hopefully we can hang on to this point at least. Hope that one of the teams above us has dropped all three. It's very unlikely. 60 seconds left in this one. Ball is into the box. Wow! And that is an incredible save to keep us potentially in the European race. Only 30 seconds left now. This is going to have to be good. Ramzalar picks it up. He loses possession. We've got one opportunity now to put it into the box. Can we get a vital three points here? It's Jimi Hendrix to put it long into Big Rog. Nope, that will be full time here in Eindhoven. And it's disappointing. Disappointing for Reggi. Disappointing for PSV. It's not what we needed today. And we've been outplayed on our home turf by a much weaker side. And Eggy comes away with a five in a crucial game. It's just not good enough. And with Ajax, Feyenoord and AZ winning, that sees us drop down to fourth with only two games left. I think that was our last chance. I think that was it. I think that was it. We would have been on 69. Would have kept us in the race with Ajax and Feyenoord. But now, well, they're just so dominant as well. It's very unlikely that we do better than fourth place now. Hard to imagine them losing games at the end of the season. I mean, we are 92% manager trust, 75 overall. We're absolutely flying, but we just couldn't find the magic in these last few games when it's most vital. Low passes up to 73. The dramatic improvement continues. It should do till the end of the season. And in the next episode, we have the last two games of the season. Utrecht, followed by Arden Den Haag on the last day. It's just unlikely, isn't it? that we come away with that Champions League spot. Obviously, we need to win the last two games. There's no doubt about that. But drawing today, criminal, absolutely criminal. Well, looks like this season might be a write-off. We, we saw that coming, didn't we? But we're going to stay, I think, at PSV. We probably put it to the vote, but I think we're going to stay and we're going to give it another go. I think we can win this. I think we can win this league. We've been so, so close. And to drop everything at this final stage... It's too painful not to give it another go. So let me know what you think in the comments. Should we stay at PSV or should he look to go to a bigger club, a bigger league? I'd be interested to hear your opinions and I'll see you in a bit.